championship fine uh, for a long time in that first half it, w it looked like it wasn't going to be uh, yeah to be honest but he just didn't come out of the blocks uh, I think some of them had it in their mind were got the easier of the, the draws in the semi-final and it just took them a while to realise just how good Shane O'Neill's were and all the uh, fair play to Shane O'Neill's there really it took us clean off the park there the first 15-20 minutes and I have to give my boys credit too for being able to come back uh, they've worked hard in training the uh, football abilities there and bundles. Uh, I'm a wee bit lost words, not used to this, but uh, the management itself, Brian and Brian Carvin and Brian Neeson have worked very hard with the boys, and the boys have been really good. Put in all the hours, no crying, no no bits in the teacher. I don't know how they do that, but uh, definitely the boys deserve all the credit they get. Uh, they've stuck together, having the biggest of panels, but the few boys that come in have done well. A few we. Few of the boys are challenging for places, but uh, 
I'm mean, well, well impressed with the way they come back. The character they showed and uh, just commiserations to Shane O'Neill who played very, very well. And there was a saying before the game. It was a bit of banter that goals win games, and Shane O'Neill said, "Well, not if we score more points, but at the end of the day, it was the goals that won the game." And just like to wish Shane O'Neill's all the best the rest of the year. They've, they've done very well this year, and their team to look for in the future. They're definitely. They're definitely an up and coming team, so I wish them all the best. And just again, I'd like to congratulate my boys in the performance the other day. So. Will the underdog tag uh, suit you going into the final? Well, hopefully, I always like to play as the underdog because you have something to prove. And I think the night there for a wee while, we sort of oh, coming on the field, I thought we maybe thought, fancied a chance, thought we were a bit favourites, but uh, the boys soon learned our lesson and realised it's the team that wants it most in these championship matches, semi final and final to win it. And I think the final will be the same. Colville obviously have the favourites tag, first division team. Kalevi's very good football inside too. So I can't I haven't been able to call a match yet. I just every match is 50-50 and it's the team that wants it most in the day and the team that gets the wee breaks. So we'll look forward to see who we get in the final now.